Hi, hello, it's me again and I want to add another example for the collage shader for Cinema 4D and in this example I want to show you how I make a tileable random landscape and I will uh, use the collage shader to make a height map which is tileable and randomly and procedural and I want to show you also um, a way to make a dynamic resolution mesh which is dependent on your camera view so you can render out a really big landscape with no problems with the poly displacement and everything okay but that's the second part of this video so first I will create this shader so I create a new material and I will use the displace channel and here I add the collage shader. Inside the shader I drop a bitmap which is a height map I downloaded from the internet. You can get these files if you are looking for DEM files and these their software where you can download different height maps from uh, several areas of the planet and I will use just this little piece here to make a random landscape. So the shader right now looks like that and I need a mask for this tile so I don't get these harsh um, borders for that I will add a layer shader and I drop a gradient there and the gradient will set to circular and I will just make this a bit smaller so it doesn't touch the border of the shader and I will add a bit of turbulence so now I need to drop this beneath the bitmap and set it to layer mask. So now I get a mask version of this shader. And now the tiles are blending in each other. Now I can show you this by increasing the size of the tiles. And this is producing such a result. For now I will disable the depth effects here and let's just increase the count so the whole area gets crowded with tiles. Okay, now I want to use the seamless of course because later on I want to clone this tile here and uh, make a seamless infinite floor. So I turn on seamless and this will make a completely seamless version of this. So it will place the tiles away so that they continue on each side. So later if I displace this whole um, separate objects there will be no gap. Okay I think I will just turn on mirror you so it gets some more variations and that's it so this is our shader I will turn on sub poly displacement and I will just render this to show you the result this will take a bit because it's now a sub poly mesh here we go Okay, I like it. Maybe I can just increase the height a bit and set this to intensity. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, that's my landscape and I like it. So in the second part of the video I want to show the setup for the 
dynamic resolution. Okay, to show you that this is really seamless, I will just copy this. And now, if I render this here, you can see there's no seam, no gap. So this is perfectly seamless. Okay, now I will go ahead and make a MoGraph clone object. And I will drop that into a grid array. Let's say 20 by 20. As the plane is 400 in size, I will set this to 400 times 20. And here also. And increase the count by 1. So now I get a large grid with perfectly aligned clones. Now I want the clones in front of my camera to be uh, a higher resolution than the clones far away. So I will make that by making some versions of this plane. And the first version I will make very low res and the second one let it be 10 by 10 and this 50 by 50 and the last one 100 by 100. So now I have uh, four different resolutions and now they are um, cloned iteratively and for my case I want to set this to sort. And now this is just taking the first cloner, but I will show you how I can change this. For this I just need a plane effector. And the plane effector in parameters, I will deactivate position. And now with this slider, modify clones, I can affect the um, clone ID. So a lower value will take the first uh, uh, clones inside of the clone object and a higher value will take the last clones. And this is it basically. So what I now just need is a fall off for this def um, effector and I will set this to sphere. And now you can see if I make the size a bit bigger I have this fall off where the the center of the fall off is high resolution and out of the fall off it's low resolution. So now I just create a camera and parent the effector to the camera, set it to zero. So the coordinates are all zeroed. And now if I move to the mesh I get a changing mass mesh uh, resolu resolution. So that's what I want. So now if I look from a low angle, I get high resolutions in front of my camera and here far away I get low resolutions. And if I set my cloner to render instances, I now can really render this out quite fast. So this will um, be like 10 times the speed or mo even more if, if you would um, render out this uh, all in full resolution. So that's my result and it's rendering less than a minute. And in the front I get more detail than in the back. So that was my goal. And now I could fly over my landscape and it would um, make a dynamic resolution. So that's a pretty cool technique. And in the third part I will just add some color to this landscape so it's a bit nicer to look at. 
Okay, in this last part of the video I want to add some color to the shader and make it uh, a bit nicer. So I just drag this shader to the color channel and I will replace the bitmap with a color map I have of the same um, height map. And here I want to use the colorizer to make a different shading here. So I use a light brownish color for this landscape. Let's make this a bit darker and this one even darker. So something like that. And let's add a physical sky and now I can just fly over that landscape and render this. Let's see what that gives me. So now I think I could even increase the displacement here a bit or I could increase the subdivisions here with the segments but I will just um, use the sub-poly displacement, so I set this to 4. And let's run on this. So this has taken less than a minute and you get quite a detail and you get a really cr big big landscape with uh, lots of geometry but it renders fast because um, these are all render instances and as you can see the mes mesh resolution is dynamic to the camera position so you render only what you need and that's the advantage here okay I hope you have learned something and um, check out tools4d.com to get the collage shader. It will be available soon and yeah it's a great shader and you can use it in many many cases. Bye bye!